If you're in the business of cleaning for domestic or commercial clients and you want to attract more customers, you can't afford to miss this video. I'm going to walk you through how to build your brand and use your logo in marketing your cleaning company so you can make more money. So without further ado, let's run the video and I'll catch up with you again at the end. Hi, I'm Simon from The Logo Company and this is Sparkle and Shine Marketing and Branding for Cleaning Companies. Marketing a company in the cleaning industry is a more complicated endeavour than you might expect. Not only does your brand need to reassure potential clients that you'll do a good job, it also needs to convey trustworthiness and reliability. A well-conceived cleaning brand can do all of that at once, and it can help you attract new customers and grow your company. What your logo needs to say. The first element of branding is choosing the best logo to represent your cleaning company. A logo might seem like a simple thing, but if you pick the wrong one, it can hurt you. Your logo is the most instantly recognisable thing about your company. Think of how quickly you recognise brands like Nike or Coca-Cola based on their logos. Your logo might not have the same reach as that of an international company, but it can still be a powerful tool. How to convey trustworthiness and efficiency. The two primary things that a cleaning company logo must convey are efficiency and trustworthiness. If your logo can get both of those points across to people who see it, you can be sure that it will help you attract new customers. Let's look at the logo elements that can help you communicate with your target audience. The colours you choose send a strong message. White signals cleanliness and is a popular choice, although clearly no logo can be all white. Blue is associated with water and purity, and green has ties to nature and might be a good choice for a cleaning company that uses natural products. The fonts you choose play an important role in defining your brand. Most cleaning companies choose simple, modern fonts with clean lines. Shapes and images can help define your brand and make it stand out. It's important to choose shapes that indicate the precise type of cleaning you do, without being cliched or obvious. A lot of cleaning companies have similar logos and you should focus on finding one that's unique. A gifted logo designer can come up with logos that incorporate all of these elements in a single, easy to understand logo that can bring your brand to life. How your logo can help attract customers. Looking at a cleaning logo in depth can help illustrate the importance of logo design. Here is a logo we designed for a company that specializes in window cleaning. What makes this logo effective? Let's look at the colours first. The blue of the windows suggests cleanliness and the reflection of the sky on sparkling glass. White highlights suggest that the windows gleam after being washed. The contrasting shade of yellow suggests sunshine. The overall colour story is one that underlines this company's commitment to delivering spotlessly clean windows to their clients. The font used is simple and clean. It's easy to read and works well with the overall shape of the logo. Finally, the shapes chosen offer an immediate visual representation of what this company does. The window washer stands in front of a huge window that suggests a high-rise building, something that's echoed in the name of the company, and the yellow sun surrounding the ampersand in the name works with the yellow to give the impression of sunshine streaming through freshly cleaned windows. This logo effectively communicates exactly what this company does. Anybody who sees it know that this is a company that provides cleaning services for office buildings and high-rises. How to leave your competitors in the dust. The benefit of developing an instantly recognisable brand for your cleaning company is that it can help you outperform your competitors. The process starts with research. Researching the competition. Do you know who your competitors are? While some companies might have to search to identify their competition, cleaning is primarily a local service. The chances are good that the majority of your competitors are located within a short distance of you. You may already know them. Even if you think you have a solid grasp of the competition, you should spend some time doing research. Google cleaning services in your area, look at industry guides and directories, and check out crowd review sites like Yelp. The more you know your competitors, the easier it will be for you to differentiate yourself from them. 
What makes you different? Once you've identified your competitors, the next step is to figure out the things that make your company special. You should ask yourself the following questions. What services do I offer that my competitors don't? Who are my employees and what makes them special and trustworthy? What methods do I use that might be unique? For example, if your company cleans office buildings, bonds all employees and uses only non-toxic cleaning products, you can use that information to create a strong brand that will help you stand out. Creating customer personas. The final step when it comes to fine-tuning your brand is to understand your customers. While all cleaning company customers want a reliable service provider, the devil is in the details. The best way to understand your customers is to create a customer persona, a visual and psychological representation of the people most likely to use your services. Your persona should take the following information into account. Demographic information, including geographical locations, ages, income levels and professions. Psychographic information, including environmental concerns, hobbies and related issues. The combination of demographic and psychographic information will help you determine who your customers are. You may have to create more than one persona. Once you do, you can use your customer persona or personas to craft a marketing plan. Marketing your cleaning company. Marketing any company requires thought and effort. It's not enough to set up a website and a Facebook account and wait for customers to come to you. How to write the perfect marketing plan. The first thing you need to do is write a marketing plan. Your plan is like a bird's eye view of everything you intend to do to make your company a success. It should include all of the following elements. A clearly stated goal, such as growing your revenue by 25% in the next year. A marketing strategy, what tools will you use to achieve your goal? Marketing tactics, how will you use the tools that make up your strategy? A marketing budget, what resources do you have and how will you allocate them? You might decide that your goal is to attract 30 new clients by the end of the year. Then you might evaluate your personas and decide that YouTube and Pinterest marketing will give you the greatest access to your target audience. Your tactics might include making before and after videos or creating Pinterest boards demonstrating your cleaning techniques. Finally, your budget breaks down how much you plan to spend in each area. How to use your logo to attract new customers. Now, let's talk about how you can put your logo to work to help you attract new customers. One of the keys to effective branding is to make your logo synonymous with your brand. Choose a logo that looks good both as a thumbnail and a large image and in both colour and black and white. Then use it as your profile picture on social media, on business cards and on all of your printed marketing material. Consider putting your logo on uniforms for your employees as well as on company vehicles. The danger of having your employees not wear uniforms is that they won't be recognised. A well-designed logo on a polo shirt can help increase brand recognition and loyalty. Don't be afraid to have some fun with your logo. If you're running a New Year's or spring cleaning special, add a little something to it or hire a designer to spruce it up while still keeping it recognisable. Think of the way Google gets artists to design special headings for their search page as inspiration. The more you use your logo, the more clearly defined and recognisable your brand will be. Content marketing ideas for cleaning companies. Content marketing, the creation and distribution of written or visual content that's valuable and relevant to your target audience, is one of the best ways to grow your cleaning company. Here are a few ideas to consider. Take before and after pictures to use on your website, blog and social media. After all, people don't hire cleaning companies because they don't want to see results. The best way to tell people what you can do for them is to show them. Create a compelling story for your company. For example, did you start a cleaning company because you were frustrated that there were no companies in your area that used environmentally friendly products? Talk about your commitment to conservation and use it to build content. Share your best cleaning tips with your followers. As a cleaning professional, the chances are good that you've picked up some great tricks along the way, solutions to tough cleaning problems. 
you can use your social media accounts or mailing list to provide valuable and actionable content to your audience and demonstrate your expertise at the same time. The content you create should always be highly relevant to your audience and provide obvious value. Within that framework, you can and should release a wide variety of content to increase brand awareness and attract new customers. Cleaning up your campaigns. Effective cleaning is sometimes a trial and error process and the same is true of marketing. If you try one product and it doesn't work, you try something else to get the job done. Once your marketing campaigns are up and running, you need to keep track of their performance and fix what isn't getting you the best possible return on your investment. What to track and where to track it. Let's start with tracking. Even professional marketers don't usually get a marketing campaign 100% right from the beginning. The only way to know whether a campaign will be effective is to run it and then track the results. You should be using a variety of metrics and tools to determine how your content is performing, including Google Analytics to track traffic to your website and user behaviour. Social media tools such as Facebook Insights to track the performance of your content and the engagement it receives. Email tracking tools to determine open rates and click-through rates. You may also want to track social mentions and other metrics. If you notice that a particular email campaign got a lower than usual open rate, you can then fine tune and test it to improve its performance. How to test and refine your marketing campaigns. The final step is to use the information you collect to improve your return on investment. Using the previous example, imagine that you had an email that had a low open rate. You can use split testing software to test a new headline to increase the open rate. Once you get the open rate to where you want it, you can then test other elements of the email including layout, images, calls to action. Those are just a few examples. Test one element at a time to ensure that your results are scientifically valid. Then you can update your campaigns, come up with a new hypothesis and continue testing. Over time, your results will improve. Conclusion. Marketing a cleaning company requires a great deal of thought and precision. As long as you take the time to craft a unique brand that communicates what makes your company unique and then use your expertise to create and release valuable content, you can grow your company and increase your profits. You can see more information about logo design for the cleaning industry at https thelogocompany.net forward slash cleaning. So welcome back. I hope you gained some real nuggets there that you can use in your own business to take it to the next level. Please do add a comment if you want more information or you've got any questions. I'm making regular branding and marketing videos, so please subscribe to my channel. I upload business videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you again in my next video.